What's up guys? Uh, this is a map called Aimbots. It's used for warming up in Counter-Strike. A lot of people use it, but uh, it has a bunch of different settings that you can kind of tune it to your liking to help you warm up the quickest or the easiest. Uh, I'm just going to show the settings that I use. And I would recommend these, but obviously it's all personal preference. So usually you're not going to be doing 180 flicks around all the maps, uh, moving your wrist a whole bunch, mo or moving your armor a whole bunch, mostly it's just going to be your wrist, so I like to take these three out. Um, most of the game engagements you'll want to be winning, like consistently, warming up to do, are within this range, so I knock out that furthest one. Next, uh, this doesn't really matter, it can be whatever you want. Uh, I like to put up crates because you'll have some like body shots and then you'll have like some headshots where it's, it's just a mix of, you can't just spray everybody down, you have to burst and spray and you can practice, uh, you know, going from like a spray to a headshot like in the transfer, you know, because People are going to be in a lot of different spots when you're actually playing the game. Uh, I also like to put on uneven ground. It makes everybody at a different height. So uh, just further increases like the randomness of your mouse. Where it's going to be having to move around. And then lastly I like to uh, click this until it says uh, Kevlar. So that... Uh, Every gun that I use is like a one shot to the head, so if I just want to switch over to practice using my pistols, obviously I'm not really going to use a USP on like a gun round, so I don't need to warm up for that. It makes more sense just to be able to... AK is going to one tap anyway, I one tap the AK, USP is going to one tap, so, well, sometimes. And uh, that is it for aimbots, uh, when you shoot the wall a bunch and you make all these little spots, uh, inspecting your weapon makes them go away. So if you got all this blood on the wall too, inspecting your weapon makes that go away. Can keep the board clean for you while you're uh, practicing. And what I'd try to do is probably just practice your bursts for a while, maybe like I don't know, just in this short time I've done 30 kills, but probably about 100, 150 kills of just bursting, getting your aim warmed up to hit headshots within the first couple bullets. And then kind of go from there, maybe do that with the AK, and do that with like the M4. And then uh, if you use any of the other rifles a lot, maybe try it with one of them. Uh, after that, I would try like working on your spray downs. So make sure that you're able to, uh, well, first of all, identify that uh, the pattern generally is you kill the first guy and you're aiming vertically to compensate. And by the time you get to the second guy, your bullets will be going over to the right. Uh, and then by the time you get to a third guy, if you're not dead then, already, they'll be going to the left. So you want to aim in the center, to the right, and to the left. Uh, with your crosshair. It's like center line, right. Took a little too long there, it was a full 30 bullet spray, but you get the point. Just practicing on your spray transfers. Uh, will make that easier in game. So I like to do, you know, some spraying, some tapping, and some bursting with the rifles. Uh, and then usually move on to just like the USP and the Glock. Uh, and just work on your moving, like, you know, run back and forth. Make sure that you can consistently hit the heads. You know, unlike me. <laughs> um, the P250, the 5.7, the... Desert Eagle, you know, like, w whatever you're going to be using a lot on, like, Ecos, uh, just get yourself warmed up that way. And then if you're an opera, uh, a practice that I really like to 
run on this for upping is get in the habit of like moving and scoping and quickly killing and scoping out. I like to throw in a little jump after I take the shot just because it kind of resets my mind uh, and makes the movement, you know, the new quick scope, the new shot, uh, very different from like, you know, so I'm not getting in a routine. I'm not going. You know, there's, there's a, each shot is different and it's a different angle and you have to quickly acquire the target, flick to it. Uh, cause, cause that's what it's going to be like when people are rushing your bomb site. You know, you'll have people coming in from different angles and you'll need to, uh, quick scope to them at different spots. So yeah, just make sure that you're tapping and you're bursting and then you're spraying for your rifles is probably going to be like 200, 300 kills. Uh, on bots, DMing to get yourself warmed up for that, and then uh, just pistols and the sniper rifles, whatever you deem necessary after that. Maybe, you know, throw in a UMP here or there just to make sure you're not, you know, uh, not too out of touch, touch with them, but m mostly most of the time you want to spend is with your rifles because those are the rounds that are going to matter the most.